Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne. This is Daily Rambles where we do TV shows and movies and music. So today we're doing a TV show and we're doing The Defenders and we're doing episode 5 of season 1 and the, the episode is called Take Shelter. So we're, we're starting off with people are gearing up like they're the, it's the hand that are gearing up they're um, doing the weapons check they're getting ready to do battle and they're going to the Royal Dragon where the defenders are and it's just so crazy then it just goes all hand where it's the hand versus all the defenders so that is super cool then um they kind of break off a little bit and murdoch goes off to fight Electra. and i just want to say they, they have really, really good fight scenes like super good fight scenes i was really impressed with all the fight scenes that were happening um when Murdoch is talking to Electra, she does stop for a brief moment as if she's trying to remember what's happening. And then, um, then we cut to where Cage is fighting some people and they're out in the street and he gets hit by a truck. I mean, it's just like, um, but, um, they, but they, uh, keep on fighting, but they eventually escape from the sewer system. And it turns out, um, Madame Gal, strong lady, cause, um, Jessica Jones blocked out the door before they jumped into the sewer. And Madagascar just went in that door and the sewer, um, the, not the sewer, but it's like the trash receptacle. It's like this big little thing in New York. It just went flying like it was like a piece of paper. So, but they did get away. And then um, Cage does eventually get back to them. And they got one of the members of the hand. It was the guy in the white cap and stuff he was all really fancy that was recruiting people to uh, clean up the dead bodies that they killed so and then um, we cut to where Electra is sharpening her blade and then we go then Alexandra comes in and talks to her and um, she and she says that she was meant to raise the black sky because um this is because she was given more of a backstory about herself and how she had a daughter and how she was taken away too soon and so she feels like when she brought black, the black sky which is the Electra that she was meant to raise her so um, but she does say if you can't do the job I have no use for you the hand has no use for you and it, everything will come to an end so then um then Alexandra is talking to the hand people and turns out someone from South America is coming, but we don't know who yet. So the defenders try to get info from the guy in the white hat, but he's not giving any information whatsoever. Um, and the guy starts to egg them on, starts to taunt them a little bit. And then they, um, so they go to get their loved ones because he, the guy did say like, we are coming after your loved ones, whether you like it or not, we're going to go after them. So they go to get theirs and uh, Colleen has her doubts talking to Danny about the other defenders. She said, I know we need people, but at the same time, I don't trust these people whatsoever. Uh, then they see um, strange HVs show up and then Colleen finds her sensei from the hand. I cannot remember the guy's name to save my life. I probably should have researched it, but I didn't. So, whoopsie. And so, um, he wants to talk, and she doesn't, so she wants to fight him. So, he actually does uh, cut her across the abdomen. And um, then everyone else shows up to help, and then he disappears. And then... Um, Murdoch, um, Matt Murdoch talks to Karen and tells her you gotta come with us. And, um, she's really mad about it at first, but she reluctantly does go with him. Then, uh, Cage talks to Misty and tells her what's happening, and so they use the police station to bring everybody in. And then, um, uh, Stick talks to... Uh, talks to the um, the guy in the white hat. Well, he's always not wearing the hat now, but um, so we have that. Then we have someone is at the door, and turns out it's Murdoch. And so Murdoch and Stitt do talk about Electra, how they didn't say that he actually knows her. So they're both keeping secrets. 
Um, but he also wants Stick to lead them. Um, Stick wants Murdoch to lead the defenders because he does have a bunch of talent. So he's like a talented fighter. So he feels like he'll be a good leader. Then Jessica just gets Trish, and then, um, but it turns out the hand is coming for them. So, um, they have a really good fight scene in there, and then Daredevil comes in and helps out. And then, uh, Colleen gets bandaged up by Claire, and then she starts doubting herself because she feels like she's lost, and she doesn't know what, she, what her place is. Because beforehand she knew what her place was, but now she's kind of lost in that moment. And she want, and she says she wants something stable. She doesn't want like, you know, she just wants a stable life and just to be competent and confident in what she's doing. Then, um, but Claire does encourage her and says like, you're are the foundation, and you are doing a good job. And don't let anyone tell you any different. Basically, so she does do a lot of encouraging, which is very a good scene. And then um, Trish and Malcolm talk at the police station as they, they get brought in and then carry um then karen and foggy talk a little bit <laughs> and gal is still mad at the other guy which is colleen's um sensei about what happened in um iron fist because gal tried to no the guy tried to kidnap gal and take her out so he could take her get both factions of the hand and then um then we cut to the Daredevil starts torturing the bad guy, the guy in the white hat, forgot his name already, and it was, I mean, he literally lassoed the, um, his, like, baton around him, it comes to Tash and it's connected by wire, and he was, like, basically choking him out. And so, um, he does it so hard, he does pass him out trying to get information, but he doesn't get anything. And then, um, Daredevil starts to tell the truth. But um, then we cut to the Chinese guy blames Alexandra for everything that's happening so far because he's supposed to be she's supposed to be the like the you know the leader leader of the entire group and they feel like they're letting they feel like she's letting them down and then um, then like all the rest of the people are, are starting to turn on her a little bit and then we cut to Dare, Daredevil uh, tells the complete truth about Elektra and that whole situation. And then, um, the guy, so they start arguing, basically, about, like, why didn't you tell us all this stuff. In the meantime, the guy comes awake, and he escapes his chair, and he comes up behind the iron fist, and basically tries to get him. And so, um, Stick literally kills the bad guy. He literally beheads him. Straight up. And then, um, Alexandra goes to check on, um, Elytra, and she's gone. And, but, uh, so, and she pops up at Matt's apartment and she's just like walking around the apartment. I think she's trying to remember stuff. And she actually lays down in Matt's bed. So that's crazy. And um, that's pretty much what I'm doing for me this episode. I'm going to give this an A plus episode. I love the scenes, the character development, everything. It's really good. So um, if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and. I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.